morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, my favorite day of the week. And I don't know what it was about this morning, but I woke up and I was on a mission, on a mission to just get things in order, to put things in their place. And typically for me, that process starts on a Friday. And I did that yesterday, but for whatever reason, this morning I woke up uh, with a vengeance and really had to get it done. So I'm in the guest room. My brother was here visiting for our trip to Yosemite and I've yet to get it together and clean it up. And so, you know, it was like, why, why? But for me, whenever I'm starting to feel anxious or like I've a lot's coming, coming on my plate, I just need to get things in order. And I don't know, maybe you're the same way. And so I woke up this morning and I was like, all those little things in every single room, there's something that needs to be done that I've been putting off. And they're simple things, it's just, you know, you think about them and you get overwhelmed. So today was the day. It's time for me just to rebalance myself and to soothe myself. And these are the things that really make me happy. They make me feel grounded and calm. done running around town this morning and just running a couple of little errands um, nothing major I had to go to the post office to the hardware store I did have to go to Ulta really quickly to pick up my shampoo I like that Redken shampoo and it's it's they have a deal where it's like two for 35 something like that so I went to pick that up um, I did a little bit of light grocery shopping. I went to Trader Joe's, got a couple of things. I still have to do my main grocery shopping, but I just don't feel like crossing oh, across town to get that done because it's 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 not like it's far. I just am not feeling it. So I went to Sprouts and I didn't have anything to make a salad, which is what I would have normally have liked to have made for myself, but I didn't have all the ingredients that I needed. I didn't have the protein. So I just got myself a sandwich from Sprouts. And if you know, you know great value and their sandwiches are so good. I think there's like a TikTok about it, but I used to, I mean, I was having them before that and we saw, my husband pointed it out to me and I was like, oh my God. So I guess the secret's out, if that was a secret. Got a sandwich and then I got, when I was there, every time I go to the store, my husband, like he doesn't want me to buy snacks. And then I'll get back to the car because I like to go by myself and do my thing and he waits for me and then he'll always ask me, did you get chips? And I'm like, what? <sighs> so I went to the grocery store and I thought I'm going to get his favorite chips. So he likes these Chica's. They're actually pretty good. Um, the one thing I like about them, I know it's not a popular thing to say, but I feel like chips should be salty, in my opinion. Like when I see a chip that has reduced salt, what is the point? I, I don't even understand that. But I find that chips nowadays aren't as salty as they used to be, and these are. So these are good. I mean, I don't love them. I'll have a couple, but he loves them. So I got him that. And then, of course, because I was hungry, um, I like this brand Siete, and they do all kinds of really great, like dairy-free, grain-free, and then they make stuff with good oil, like avocado oil. And so these are new, they're grain-free puff snacks. They're made with lentils. And I looked at the ingredients and the ingredients are, um, are really good. The other thing that I like is that there's no sugar because typically these are seasoned with sugar. So we'll see how they taste, but I trust this brand. So I got some of those. And then I really like, I will, Simple Mills. I love this, this brand. They make all of their stuff with like almond flour and just really, really good um, ingredients. So these are like Cheez-Its, but a healthier version of that. And they're actually really, really good. So I got myself a box of those. And then at Trader Joe's, I always like to get fresh flowers for the kitchen. I don't know. It just makes me, it just makes me smile. And let's see. Okay. Then Trader Joe's. I got, I, I like this brand of sprouted wheat, but lately, I don't know what's going on with their bread. It's like, it went from being this tall to like this, and it's been going on for like a, over a month. So I'm trying this Trader Joe's sprouted wheat. I prefer sprouted wheat over uh, regular wheat. So I got some of that. 
I'm gonna make some lentil soup. So I got some lentils from Trader Joe's are already cooked. And then I just get this pre, what is the technical term? Here it says chopped vegetable mix, but I have a friend who's a cook and he had a fancy term for it, whatever. Um, so I got that so I don't have to work very hard. And then I take ground chicken and it's a really easy soup for the week. So I got that. I got, I love these um, organic microgreens from Trader Joe's. I just take a little handful and I put them in my salads and it's got a ton of, of nutrients. They're, and they're really good. They're slightly spicy, not too spicy, like peppery. And then I got this for my husband because he loves, I, I do too. Um, my favorite ice cream was haagen and I recently had some and it was terrible. It was not the same as it used to be. But this one, this ultimate ultra chocolate from Trader Joe's is really good. It's just like haagen used to be. This is delicious. He's gonna be happy because he finished it. I got him, I got him that, not for me, not for me. Um, and then tonight I'm gonna make, I like this broccoli kale slaw, it's really good. So I got that and then I'll just put like some blueberries in it and then I'll put some grilled chicken. So I got some of that for dinner tonight. And of course, like I said, cause I was hungry, I like these canned chips, but I normally buy the Whole Foods version if when I buy them, which is, it's, it's a treat. But again, they're, they weren't very salty, and so hmm, they were okay. But I do remember the Trader Joe's ones were, so I got a can of those. Um, got some blueberries. Um, and then, next bag, I got, I eat a lot of eggs, uh, so I've got two of these pasture eggs. I like to get my eggs at Trader Joe's because these were like six dollars because normally they're over like ten to twelve dollars which I'm not I'm not doing that. Not paying that much for eggs. So I got two of those and then I've really been enjoying figs with like some uh, Point Reyes blue cheese on some like butter lettuce and some balsamic. That's my that's my thing lately so they're in season. So I got some of those and then I like to get um, the zucchini from Trader Joe's. It's really inexpensive. I think it's like three dollars, something crazy like that. And it's it's, it's good. And I and I eat lots of zucchini. So that's that. And then and then the last thing that I got was um, this oat milk. Oat milk at Trader Joe's. This one is good because it doesn't have the. Um, it just has water and oats. It doesn't have that xanthan gum, which is, it's, I know people say it's bad for you, but from what I understand, it's, it's like from the bark of a tree, but I don't like it because it gets gummy uh, and I, it just grosses me out. This one is just oat milk and it's really inexpensive. I want to say this is like $2, something, $2, two maybe $3. Um, I bought one of the Khalifa ones because I, in a pinch, I was at Whole Foods and I remembered that I needed some for my matcha this morning. And I think I want to say I paid like $5 for it. It's almost all gone between myself and my husband having a matcha. It's almost all gone. So I had to go and stock up. So I got six of these and that'll last us for a couple of weeks. So I stocked up on that. And that's all that I got um, in my haul. So I think I'm going to go put all this food away. I'm going to have my lunch and just relax. I got a couple of things that I want to do around the house. So we'll get that done. So on to lunch. Thought I would share just a couple of things that I've picked up. Um, so my husband had to go to banana and I have to say, I, I'm a high-low kind of girl. I'll shop it high, I'll shop it low. Not too high, I'm not, I, I'm not into designer clothes. I, I, I just don't, that's just not my thing. So you have to go to Banana Republic, but I have to say, I feel like the Banana Republic outlet is better than, or just has more fashion-forward clothes um, or pieces than Banana Republic. Hmm. I don't know, let me ponder. But anyway, I, so he had to go pick something up for he was gonna go somewhere. Um, and he never, <laughs> like, I think actually we do have a blue moon tomorrow, I think tomorrow. But anyway, my whole point is that it like, like it's like a, a blue moon when he'll say he wants to go 
shopping for clothes. I mean, never, ever, ever happens. But he wanted to go and he wanted to go to the Banana Republic outlet. So I, who am I? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let's go. So of course they were having a bunch of end of summer clearance. And so I got a couple of pieces. And so I got this really um, great dress. Uh, you can't really see, but it's just kind of like, not almost like a, like a tunic style um, dress. But it's a, they have really nice cotton, their, their pieces. And so it's just like a basic, it's super cute, casual. I can belt it or I can just wear it as a, as a, like a tunic with sandals or I could wear it with tennis shoes. And you know, it's just a very neutral color. I got this for like, I don't know, gosh, probably like 20 bucks. Um, so that was a score. And then I got, I'm trying to decide if I'm entering my, my caftan era um you know i think if you're my age if you know you know mrs roper and i feel like i'm about to enter that you know um three's company what was that show three's company with mrs roper she was like the landlady and she no she wore nothing but like caftan dresses like every outfit was caftan dresses and i remember as a kid when i would watch it um I just thought she was such a character and in my mind old ladies wear caftans right but they've sort of had their moment and like they've been all over like Zara and like Mango and and other stories has like had them and they're very chic and so I'm straddling the Mrs. Roper and being like chic caftan so I actually had seen this during the summer and I wanted it but it was too pricey it was more than I was willing to spend on such an item. And so this one, wow, I, I got this for about 20, 20, almost $25. And it's a really nice cotton and I like the colors. It's just a very uh, chic piece, I think. So I'm gonna enter, <laughs> I'm gonna try. But I thought I would pair it with, I got these really pretty sandals from um, Cezanne, that French brand Cezanne. And they're really strappy. They kind of go around your ankle, super cute. And so I thought that this dress would look really cute with these sandals. Or like I've got some leather, um, leather sandals to keep it more casual if I wanted, something like this. It's just kind of simple and basic and they're comfortable. It's like this really nice soft leather, but I think it could go either way. With this but this was a real a score so I was really happy that he wanted to go there and that I got these two things so I got that and then I found these pants which I think are so adorable they're so cute and same thing I got these really cheap under under like $30 they're really cute they I love this white stitching on them I mean it's it, it's they look like they're sh like shiny but they're it's just the light picking up. Um, but I just love the outline, the white stitching on it. I think it looks so fresh, super cute. And it's got, the legs are like the wide legs. So again, I mean, these are really short lived because they're kind of like summer, spring, summer wear. But I thought they were really cute. So I... um, let's get ready. Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday, and today is the day that I sort of spring into action and kind of get ready for my work week. But I really try to balance it with fun and not trying to be, you know, so intentional about every single thing that I need to do because everybody talks about, you know, having intention, but I think sometimes for me, it can be a little overwhelming. So I try not to have a lot of intention. I have things that I know I need to get done, but just also try to enjoy the day and, and let it take me um, wherever it, it will, um, just so that I feel more relaxed. But of course, you know that I must go grocery shopping. Um, I need to go get my protein and my vegetables. And I like to go to a particular market to do that. And 
got to do that. I've got to do a little bit of food prep, but I'm hoping to get into the garden today. I'm trying to put in a raised bed in my garden and I bought this uh, like an aluminum style one, like a rectangular one and um, like an oval rectangular shape. So I'm going to see if I have the bandwidth and the patience to build it myself and not ask my husband to do it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. But other than that, I did want to head to Sephora today. There was something that I've been wanting to get. I just didn't feel like doing it yesterday. But anyhow, let's let's see where the day takes me. Heading out to the flea market this morning. We are on a quest. Well, I'm not on a quest. My husband is on a quest. So let's see if he is successful. If my fingers and my toes cross for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go let's go and maybe something for me we'll see it's a party wow. what are you hoping to find here um fountain of youth <laughs> that's not they don't sell that here they don't sell that here <laughs> good luck to you Good luck to you today. Gracias. Fingers crossed for you. So hopefully my husband, I, I lost him, so I know where he's at. He's at the stereo equipment, guaranteed. So let's go. at the big box nursery I need to I need to redo the garden in the front of my house and I have a, a raised a built-in flower bed at the entrance and I had some plants in there that I had to take out because they were looking really sorry but now it's empty and it looks better than having dead plants but it's still empty so I want to fill that up so I'm gonna head into this isn't my favorite place but it's certainly a happy place because there's plants here so let's go on inside let's see what I find there is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by it Here's my hall, so let me show you what I got. So I got this big container here. I'm going to redo my fig tree. And then these are some plants that are going to be... Some of these are for my entryway. And of course the obligatory fern. But... No gracias. Someone tried to sell me some strawberries, but I got some stuff for my entryway and then I also got stuff for the back garden and I read that voles, I have a vole issue, I like gophers, um, they dig up my backyard. So I heard that voles don't like salvia and it's really pretty. So <laughs> I stocked up on that and then these were just so cheerful that I had to get those. Now I think I'm gonna head out for some lunch. It's lunchtime and I'm here in Marin and there's plenty of really healthy options. So I think I'm gonna go grab something to eat and then I'm gonna head over to go do my grocery shopping. just got back from Sephora. I was supposed to go in for like nothing and of course it always it, it, it always ends that way. That place is so dangerous. So it's like the smallest bag that is worth so much money. So let me just show you really quickly what I got. I um, all of this most of this I was I was influenced and I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't watch a lot of videos on makeup but I think I mentioned that I really like watching Nikki Nikki LaRose. Nikki LA Rose. Um, something about her just is really captivating and I get sucked in but I also really like um, I like her makeup reviews so when I do need to buy makeup I really trust her um, she had mentioned Tower 28 which I love their products they have I use their cream blush I use their mascara 
their products are amazing but she recommended the uh, skin tint which also has SPF so I got that and then the other thing that I've been wanting to try is Rare Beauty's uh, powder I love their products I use their um, liquid blushes I think she does a really great job with her makeup line like it's like she's really it's not just using her name it's really like really great products so I got this powder I'm not sure that this is really my shade but when I blended it on my hand and on my side of my face it blended in so it, it very well maybe but it is super fine like super fine like I used to use the Laura Mercier but I stopped using it because it it was just really accentuating like my creases and stuff and not that I care about that but more that it, it's not it doesn't look good it, it made me look really dry but this one is extra fine like super fine so I'm gonna try that I'm really excited to try that and then um, I got this makeup by Mario I got the um, bronzer I like it because most of the bronzers are really heavy it's like this cream bronzer I, it feels like it's too dark but when I tried the ones that I thought were my skin it was too light so I have to trust the process um, but it feels really light and silky smooth and I, I really like that and I trust him I mean he is the king king of contour so I got that and then the last thing that I got is this brand called Kofi and it's this lip oil again I was influenced by Nikki um, LA Rose but I trust her and this stuff is amazing it feels so so good on the lips it's supposed to be like long lasting and the shine is supposed to say I don't know if I believe that but anyway it's really pretty too so I like also the doe the doe foot it's it's flat on both sides so you can really get it where you want it to go so I like that so that's what I got I got these four um, things so let me get out of here I was gonna take myself to lunch but obviously that's not happening because I spent uh, a lot of money in there on top of I've already bought those plants so there's my lunch so I'm gonna just head home and finish up that Thai food that I got yesterday since it was so much and I didn't finish it so that's where I'm going going home and that's that so to lunch I went to the garden center today and I got a couple of plants as you just saw but now I thought you know what let me just put them in now let me not, not wait until next weekend it's only gonna take me like 15 20 minutes to do and it's gonna make such a big difference so let's go ahead and get those in I'm also gonna add something to my entryway um, to freshen it up a little bit so let's get to it So I just finished planting it. I think it looks really good. I'm really pleased with it. I, these are the roses that I salvaged, the dollar rack roses, and I think they look fantastic here. So let me show you what it looks like. You can see here I've got, I think those are, I don't know the technical term, so don't come at me. Canna, I think, something like that. And then right behind it, I planted the rose, which I think looks really pretty. It's gonna get, it's an iceberg rose. Um, and it's going to get kind of tall. So I, what I was aiming for is that even though the rose bush is going to overtake it, my whole point is as you're walking up to the stair to the door, you have different views. So you'll have the canna plant at the front, and then you'll have the rose, and then you'll have the canna plant at the back, and then eventually it'll get really tall. It's dinner time. Just finished a little bit of quick gardening, as you just saw. And so... I'm hungry and I didn't do my food prep and well I'm gonna do a little bit I'm gonna grill my protein for the week but I'm gonna give myself grace just because I had a really fantastic fantastic day um, and I'm just so happy you know I like I said I'm going into a really really busy period at work and anytime that I find joy in my weekend I just ride that wave. I just don't try to like tell myself, no, you should be doing this. Like really, I just need to bring more joy into my life, like just on the on the everyday. So I, I'm not gonna really stress about it. As long as I've got my protein, 
and I've got the bases to make my salads, I'm good. Um, so anyway, so dinner time. I'm hungry, and so what I'm going to do, I picked up this rotisserie chicken at Whole Foods, so I'm going to shred some of this chicken, and I'm, I'm just really into figs. Um, I picked these up, I think you saw these in my grocery haul, so I'm going to do a fig salad with some of these figs. I have some arugula. I really love the contrast of the sweet and the peppery, so I've got some arugula. And then I love, you can't see it here, but in here I've got the point uh, Point Reyes blue cheese, which I love. It's so, so delicious. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do a balsamic reduction in my little, I love this little pot. It's super cute. This little Dansk. It's, yeah, Dansk. It's super cute. And then it's got, it's got a top, but it's also, it also does double function. It's uh, also like a trivet. Super cute. I love the color. It's like a mauve pink. So I'm going to do a reduction of this tangerine balsamic. I think it'll add a nice um, citrusy blend to it. So I'll reduce it so that it becomes like a syrup. And then that'll be dinner. So it'll be figs, chicken, cheese. And then I have these shishito peppers that I love a lot and I don't want to waste food. So I'm going to grill those. In addition to that, I've got some chicken that I don't want to waste. So I'm going to grill that. And then I got some more chicken that I'm going to grill, like I said, so that I have my protein base for my week. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get started with dinner. So time to assemble. So let's do this. The figs. And there you have it. It looks so good. I feel like it's missing some nuts, but I'm not going to... I'm just going to really enjoy it. So this is dinner for myself and for my husband. I'm really excited to have it. So, bon appetit! So the weekend is over and it's time for me to wind down. It was a pretty busy day, a pretty busy weekend. It was a lot of fun, but like all good things, it comes to an end and I always kind of like to think about, you know, think about my weekend and not what I accomplished because I, if you've been following me, you know that I'm on a mission not to really run my life according to what I've accomplished because it's just not good for my overall mental health. But what I like to do is kind of reflect on my weekend and kind of ride on those happy thoughts. You know, it really carries me through. And just kind of think about everything that I that I did and just reflect on it but I also like to do a little bit of self-care I'll take my I, I call it my everything shower you know where I shave my legs and do any kind of mask on my hair though I didn't do that today but uh, took a shower and then I like to do my skincare routine and depending on how I'm feeling it can be a little bit more involved but I pretty serious about my uh, skincare. So I'm a little tired today and I can I can see it in my face and in my, in my skin. So I'm gonna do, you're probably wondering what the heck is that? It's like, a, what is that movie? Jason from Friday the 13th, <laughs> that's what this is. But I've been doing red light therapy for many years now and I do this, since I've been doing it so much for so many years, I don't need to do it that often, though I'm sure I could benefit if I did more, but I do uh, 10 minutes, two to three times a week, and I use red light. This one, um, I think I got this on Amazon like two or three years ago, four years ago actually, and it's got different, um, different color lights, and the different color lights do different things, though I've never really used it. Like some of it can help you with stress, some of it can help with acne, all kinds of things, but I only use the red light therapy, which I have to say, it really, really works. I think the, when I first got it after the first 30 days, I immediately saw improvement. And lately, I, I don't suffer from acne, but lately I've been breaking out in like hormonal acne, which is so strange. And this is really helping me with that. So I noticed like if I break out and I'll use this, maybe I'll do it like for 15 minutes instead. And the next day when I wake up in the morning, I can tell that it's 
helped diminish them so they're not as like as big but you can see I've got a few um, on my face but I'm not gonna really point that out anyway I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare and then it's time to call it a night so let's get into it so I finished with my red light therapy and you know you can't really you're not gonna see anything on my face I just know that I look really really tired so and my skin is really really dry so the first thing that I do is a um, couple of things. So um, I start off with this niaminicide, The Ordinary. I've talked about this, or maybe I did earlier, who knows. But I've been using this for years and for years, and it's really inexpensive. I think I pay like eight or ten dollars for it. And really what this helps with is redness. I used to have um, rosacea. And so it's really helped me tremendously. And then the other thing that I, maybe I've talked about this is it's also the ordinary and it is um, lactic acid. I can't use uh, exfoliants like psilocylic or BHA because my skin is super, super sensitive. So this lactic acid is pretty gentle and it's an ex uh, exfoliator. So I just use, I don't, and I don't do it often. I might do it a couple of times a week. Um, and I find that, and also that's really inexpensive. I think that is either six or eight dollars. Um, I find that just using just that little bit really helps a lot. And I also find that applying, well, it's also been shown that when you apply it after the red light therapy, it's a lot more effective. Your skin really absorbs it. So I do that and um, and then the next thing that I do is I then apply my moisturizer. I don't, you know, I don't go crazy with my steps or maybe you think it's crazy <laughs> what I'm already doing, but I talk about Peaches skincare. None of this is sponsored. None of this has been gifted to me. This is all stuff that I uh, paid for myself, but I talk about Peaches skincare. It's a small company. It's an esthetician, a woman. She's fantastic and she believes in just really natural uh, products that are derived from plants naturally versus uh, chemical. Not that there's anything wrong because I use, obviously I'm using chemicals, but I, I like a lot of her products. And so this one is a squalene oil. So I just take a few drops of that. that I, I really like that a lot. And then I take um, her moisturizer, which I love, and I just mix it. Sometimes, I, maybe I should have done that today, but I'll also use that Cosrx um, snail mucin, um, but not today. Just, uh, I don't know, just didn't, didn't feel like it. So now I'm feeling um, super hydrated and I take that all the way down to my neck and my chest and um, that feels really good. I can just, <laughs> I just really feel like my skin is just drinking it up. It feels so good. And then I also have been uh, enjoying, I tried the Kiehl's. Um, it's got squalene also, and it's got, I think it's got peptides, which I actually, it's called the um, Ultra, Ultra Rich Cream, which is really, really good, but I'm not using that tonight. And I'm also, I don't really use, um, I don't really use eye cream, honestly. I'm very skeptical as to whether it's no different than the moisturizer, but I bought it and so I want to use it. And it does feel a little bit more moisturizing, so I'm going to put that on my eyes and then I still take it and then I put it um, in other parts of my face that I feel are really dry. So... So now I feel nice and moisturized. And the next thing that I like to do, I thought I had, oh well. Um, I'll just take a little bit of this uh, um, Laneige, I don't know how to say it. Um, Laneige, Laneige, it's, uh, it's a lip mask. And I just, uh, one of my 
co-workers gave it to me as a gift and and I, I've used it and so this one is like an, a green apple flavor so feeling really nice and moisturized so I'm almost ready for bed the last thing that I have to do is obviously take my hair down and um, but first I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea and just kind of relax a little bit and reflect I'm relaxing with a matcha and you might be thinking a matcha if you're going to bed why are you having a matcha but I'm really tired and it's what I wanted so I'm having it and I, I sleep like a rock I do not need like I don't need anything to help me sleep I I mean my husband is always he's always so jealous he's like I watch you because he has tr uh, trouble sleeping it's like I watch you at night and I'm just like so jealous I wish I could sleep like that I mean I sleep like a rock so this is what I wanted so this is what I'm having I'm gonna do a little bit of reading it was a book that I picked up and then I put it down because I was reading something else but now I've gotten back into it so I'm gonna do a little bit of reading and I'm really tired so I think I'm gonna turn in early tonight and just get ready for the week so I think I'm gonna end the video here as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one Cheers!